Are you tired of your Minecraft world looking like this? Then join me my friend and let me take you someplace special. Welcome, my name is Gummy and this is my tutorial on how to enable deferred rendering for Minecraft 1.21 on Xbox Series X and Xbox Series S. Without further ado, let's get into it. So you're going to need the following things in order for this to work. Firstly, you need a copy of Minecraft Preview. Unfortunately, this does not work on Minecraft. You need the beta or preview version. In this case, we'll be using the preview version. And secondly, you're going to need a current gen series console. I have confirmed this to work on Xbox Series X for the purposes of this test. Unfortunately, it does not work on PS5 or PS4 or any Sony console for that matter. Thirdly, you need a smartphone with Minecraft beta. If you're unsure how to get Minecraft beta, check within your app store and instructions on how to access Minecraft beta. We will be using it on Android, on a Samsung S22 Ultra. And lastly, you need a Realm subscription or trial. Okay, so once you've downloaded all of those apps, you're gonna need to go into Google, type in Minecraft 1.21 deferred rendering shaders, click on 9minecraft.net. For the purposes of this video, we're gonna be using Poggy's Luminous Streams and Prisma Shaders, both of which does work and both of which are for free. So if you did enjoy them, I'll definitely reach out to these respective creators as there is URLs within their respective pages where you can donate them and support them. And you know, just say thanks for creating awesome free shaders. Anyways, we're going to scroll down now to the bottom, click on the respective link that corresponds to your version. In this case, I have 1.21. We're going to simply say download and then download it again. We're going to do this the same thing uh, for Prisma as well. And secondly, we're going to need WinRAR. So in this case, uh, it's RAR. We download this and we need this as this is the file explorer that's going to allow us to open these respective MC packs within Minecraft. If you do not have WinRAR, unfortunately, I, I was unable to get it to work on files. As you can see here, when you click it, it gives you an option to open it in Minecraft. When you do this through your regular download folder, that's not going to be possible. So you'll simply click Minecraft and Minecraft is then going to start importing the shaders. All right, and if it did successfully import, Minecraft is going to give you a pop-up notification that states it's importing said shader. For the purposes of this video, we're not going to be doing it again. But if you did not receive that pop-up notification, the import was not successful. It's very simple though. If you just open up uh, the MC pack in uh, RAR, it will automatically open up in Minecraft uh, and start importing it. So very little hassle that's involved there. Second up, we're going to create a new world. All right, so we're going to scroll all the way down to where it says resource packs. If it's successfully imported, you're going to see it there, Prisma and Poggies. So we're just going to activate those two. Very important, it says shared packs, top right, ensure that is selected. Secondly, we're going to make sure Poggies is on top and Prisma is number two. In order for this to work, if you've got it swapped around, it's not going to look right. Your world is not going to be correct. Second up is the behavior pack. So in this case here, we've imported Adaptive Fog for Poggies Luminous Dreams and we just activated it. All right, last step um, is we need to enable render dragon features for creators and this is under experiments. Uh, this deferred rendering does not work if render dragon is not enabled. Likewise with shared packs, if shared packs is not selected when you create this world and you open it on the Xbox, it's not gonna import it. All right, so if you've done these successfully, you can then go ahead and click create the world and it's gonna start loading in Minecraft. Um, there is a couple telltale signs that it is working. Number one was the importation of the shaders. Number two is being able to select the shaders in the world. And number three is actually seeing the shaders for yourself. So here in this case, uh, I think, I can't remember what the settings is set on, but you'll immediately be able to see that, you know, Minecraft is looking pretty lit. So uh, once you've successfully opened up Minecraft, all we've got to do is just go down into your video settings. All right, everything here is vanilla settings. I have switched off uh, render clouds on the Xbox version, but we'll get into that. And as you can see a graphics mode, generally it's set to simple or fancy. Now we'll have deferred technical preview enabled. Um, in order for this to work, you need to have deferred rendering or deferred technical preview selected as your graphics mode. All right, you can see under your resource packs, you've got Poggies and Prisma deferred enabled. All right, so uh, yeah, uh, for the purposes of this video, I have already created this world and due to network issues, um, I wasn't able to upload a new world, so to speak. Uh, it just it just loaded indefinitely. But um, 
yeah what you're gonna need to do here is upload this world you've created so you're gonna click on the world again you're gonna say play on realm so this specific world i didn't upload um there's another world that i've uploaded and used but it's the same process uh the more familiar you get with this the easier it's going to become so once you've selected your realm, you're going to click on any available slot that's open. In my case, Extreme Rights is open. The first two is the ones I'm currently using. You will say yes, you do want to replace this world. And then it's going to start initializing the upload. Uh, as you can see here, my network is not very good. This upload should equate to 8 megabytes. Around there, 8 megabytes, 7 megabytes or so. If it uploads that 8 megabytes, you can see <laughs> my network is atrocious. All right, but it's the same method. All right, so once it's uploaded, that eight megabytes is uploaded and the world is initialized, your work on your cell phone is then done. So here I've tried it again. It doesn't work successfully. You need to have a stable connection for this to work. And unfortunately, my upload is not the greatest. <laughs> All right, so it automatically opens your world up. In this case here, because we didn't successfully upload the shaders, you'll see when we log into this world on the realm, it's just vanilla Minecraft. So in your case, the eight megabytes that's being uploaded will be the shaders that's being uploaded and once you see that you know it's successful and when you open up the realm you should see everything working as per normal like in this case here the shaders said it imported but it didn't you can see there's no active shaders even though it says deferred and poggies etc so just make sure that eight megabytes or 10 megabytes is being uploaded that is the most important thing from your cell phone because then that means the realm um, has the shaders uploaded onto it so when you access the realm on your cell phone uh, it will have those shaders running instead of offline and once that's done then you can safely close your phone head on to minecraft preview on your xbox and then open up your realms page where you're going to be able to access all of the different realms that you have um, in our case we have three and if we go into the realm where we uploaded those packs you'll see that there's two or three active packs um, it is going to say unknown uh, at this stage here, but once we enter into the world and we exit out again, you'll be able to see the names of those packs. So long as these packs are here, that is, yeah, it's it's sorted. Like <laughs> your life is going to change. I'm so excited for you. You know, you should definitely come back and hit me up in the comments and be like, "Gummy, like thank you so much. Like this is awesome." Because when I when I got enabled, I I lost my mind. Like I started screaming and stuff because it was awesome. So you're able to experience this on console. It's amazing. Um, the performance that you can expect, you'll see I use medium settings across the board. I use Bloom 100% upscaling also um, enabled and uh, vertical sync on my side is off. Likewise with clouds in order to have a stable um, performance or stable game. You can switch clouds on, um, I just play with it off. But yeah, generally you're going to experience 60 FPS on mid settings. Um, if you do go into houses or places with man-made lights, I should say, you can expect a drop to 30 or 40, depending on how much. Um, but generally it is so smooth. I can't emphasize what a great um, experience this is on Xbox. And I'm really excited for you. You're going to see now that um, yeah, it, it, <laughs> it blows my mind to this day. It really does. Um, it's going to take a second or two to load up. And yeah, we're pretty much in like the worst biome <laughs> ever. I hate ice biomes, but... Um, you can kind of already see here, uh, it, okay, no, you can't, <laughs> you can't, this is a terrible example, but, uh, yeah, if we go into video settings, um, you're going to be able to see that a deferred technical preview is enabled, which is what we want, which is what we need. And you can see on my side, anti-aliasing is 16, upscaling is on, bloom is hundred percent, everything else is medium. This ensures I have a stable 60 FPS performance, but yeah, if we exit out now and we go back into the realm into that same world we're going to see that the resource packs have now changed you can see now that this is saying poggies and prisma deferred uh, behavior packs might still say pack unknown um, otherwise in game it should say adaptive fog I, in my games it does say adaptive fog on the realm it may say something different but yeah from here we're going to go back into edit world and uh, i always just uh, download my worlds you more than welcome to play it on the realm realm is an awesome experience very great uh you know responsiveness connection and so forth but uh, from my side i have yeah, i have terrible internet so uh yeah I, I i prefer to download my realm and uh, obviously with that being said if i had to end my realm subscription and this world had to become corrupted i would not have access to those shaders again so you can only access these shader enabled worlds 
through realms which is uploaded from your phone uh, on minecraft beta so the chain or the link of command um, is basically minecraft uh, beta on your phone realms and then the minecraft preview and you download it and you can see here it gave us an option to say 10 megabytes to download if you see that you should just get up your couch and start dancing around and you know start screaming at your family and telling them that <laughs> the time has come because it means it worked and i want you to come back on this page and drop a comment drop a like drop a subscribe even if you see my house that i built i think you'll drop a subscribe but if this works for you i know you got to drop a subscribe um, but yeah, uh, what we did here is we basically downloaded the world and this is going to allow myself to play offline. Um, you should see when you log into it, you see it doesn't say Minecraft preview, it says Luminous Dreams. Um, and yeah, this is it. <laughs> this is a successful import of our shader enabled world. And you're going to see under settings here as well. It's, it's always, this is in, on the downloaded version, you can see it's always enabled uh, deferred technical preview. You can't create a deferred technical preview world from Xbox Series X or Xbox Series S. You have to create it from your cell phone first, upload to your ROM, and then download to your Xbox. As of this stage, that's the only way to get it to work. But the way I see it is I'd rather have a little Minecraft Realm subscription than go ahead and fork out $2,000 or in my case, 50,000 Rand for a mid-range gaming PC. <laughs> you know, this is a great experience. And um, yeah, I'm excited for you guys to experience it for yourself. If you did and it works, and I know it, it will work. This is as of 7 July 2024. It's working for me. It will work for you as well. And when it does, I want you to come back to this comment section and tell me all about it. I don't know about you, but I'm excited for you. You're gonna have a great time. You know, as someone who started playing Minecraft um, in like 2012, 2013, around that time somewhere um, on many, many different kinds of platforms. You know, I'm talking chunky PC, I'm talking iPod touch, heck, uh, probably even a smartwatch, you know. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But uh, yeah, you get, the, you get the point. To to finally be able to experience it like this on console, it is game changing. And that, you know, with that being said, I just wanna say a massive thank you to the developer of these shaders they've put in a lot of time um, you know their own personal time and allowed the community to access these shaders for free and it's really just changed the game completely you know so if you if you are in a financial position where you are capable of supporting them i'll definitely encourage you to do so as um, it's definitely definitely well worth it these are one of the most beautiful well optimized shaders i've ever seen in my life <laughs> and uh yeah I, I kid you not with that so yo when it you know when it does work out for you please do come back let me know about it if you have any questions let me know in the comment section as well and thank you so much for tuning in and for listening you know to my little rambling i hope it's helped you and i can't wait i can't wait for your mining adventures ahead thanks again and take care cheers